This is the Dave and Shecky Show. We got this groovy podcast for ya. Reviewing crazy tunes or quoting Twain and Sting and Doom. We'll bring ideas to share like bonus points for extra flair. Cause it's the freaking Dave and Shecky Show. Shecky Show, we're bringing you this groovy review. We might preview movies, bake some bread, or drink some smoothies. So come on, have way too much caffeine. You roll up some rivers, I'll reference some Raffi. This is the Dave and Shecky Show. Hello. It's me. You've been looking for. Okay. Welcome, 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 everyone. It is the Christmas special, the Christmas spectacular here at uh, Middle Age Cool Kids Super Terrific Podcast featuring your pals, Famous Amos and Professor Griff. Why don't you Why don't you take a sip, Dave? Yeah. Why don't you take a sip? Why? Well, just had a little something. Yeah. If I was Professor Griff, Prof- you wouldn't tell me to. Take a sip. Okay, here's the thing. Oh, God, here's Dave, you need a bigger sip. Why okay. do you do this? It's, it's, oh, my God, stop. Bonnie. Ugh. All right. Anyway, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, one and all. Uh, what's Christmas to you, Dave? What do you, what do you think? When you think it's Christmas, what? what? Christmas to me uh-huh. is LeBron James being a moron. All right. That's not really the spirit of Christmas for many of us. Um, we be getting that Jew money. Oh, okay. Well, Jews... Uh, I, I got a tweet for you. Okay. I'd be rocking them end beats. Is oh. that acceptable? All right. Yeah. And I use the full word. Oh, okay. Then you would be... My music's oh. inspired by end beats. I see. Oh, I was just paying homage. I thought it was respectful. <laughs> you, sir, are a complete moron. Well, yes. Look at... LeBron James, go the fuck back home, you black Abraham Lincoln looking fool. I don't, I don't know if that's a compliment or it's not. Oh, I see. He could free himself. All right. So you're too angry about LeBron James. You, uh, it's ignorance. It's just ignorance. It's either ignorance or just outright d- d- depraved moron. He, it's ignorance, and d- there are very few. Uh, we be rocking at, them uh, end beats. All right. You've said that. There are very few athletes who I feel are, uh, you know, of exceptional um, intelligence. And he certainly was never one that I thought was. I'm more of a Bill Walton fan. All right. Well, that's fine. You like Bill Walton because Bill Walton liked Grateful Dead. God damn right he did. I think he's passed away, right? Bill Walton's not passed away. Uh The Grateful Dead has, at least in my eyes, they're dead to me. Oh, Get it? No fucking pun intended. Because the second you hire John Mayer to take fucking Jerry Garcia's place, you're dead to me. I thought you liked John Mayer. Yeah, but not to, not as Jerry Garcia, all right? Your body's a wonderland, okay? Not Scarlet Begonias. Relax. Okay. What you, a dick. Uh, what? Why is he a dick? I don't know. He, just, he comes off like a dick. He doesn't really come off like a dick. All right. He just maybe doesn't have the personality you're looking for. Look, in after a what he did oh, to Taylor okay. Swift, I cannot tolerate him. Oh, my God. He is such a trampire. All right. All right. Trampire is something that they call the little girl from Twilight. You have no idea. All right. I don't know what's happening. With you got to be with it to be with it. That's all you know. Are you hip to culture? Because if you are, you're getting all my references. Okay. If you're not, I'm just coming off like a raving lunatic. Well, guess what? It can be both, Dave. Take some more acid and catch up to me. Okay. It can be both. Um, anyway, so Christmas for Dave uh, means LeBron James is an idiot. But uh, I always liked Christmas growing up. I like the idea of Santa. Um, I'm very much into Santa. Uh, I think all kids, for whatever reason, um, well, you know what? I can't speak for all kids. I used to practice okay, Santa. Dave. Rhea. David. Huh? It's my turn. Sorry. Jesus, I Mary and Joseph. you're into Santa, the next the word is Rhea. All right. Well, you know what? Your turn is coming soon. Oh, Jesus. What is this, a Led Zeppelin song? No, but this is me talking about Christmas. All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Please go ahead. God forsake the Jews. 
No one is saying anything about the Jews. Oh, anyway. LeBron uh, was, I'm sorry. What kind of name is LeBron? What is that, a car from the 70s? What do you got, fucking uh, tattoo and the other guy uh, introducing you, uh, your new Monte Carlo with fucking, uh, what's that, uh, Corinthian leather? Thank you very much. Okay, go ahead now. Christmas. You are ruining Christmas. Okay, go ahead now. You're like a... Oh God! Look at you, and you're so happy over there. It's Christmas. You're you're happy that you're just shitting on my uh, a day that I love. No, no, no. This is a good day. Everything's fine. Well, this is the problem. I married Dave. Uh, <laughs> that, okay, there we go. Twenty-two years ago. Hey, no, not that long ago. Relax. Take it easy. And twenty-something uh, years ago. Twenty years ago. No, no. Uh, that's not gonna reveal anything. Oh, I married Dave some time ago, and uh, David Lee Roth. I would never marry David Lee Roth. Uh, For the money. No. You know what? Why do you think he's not married? For the one-liners. Oh, he's wait, not he married because he doesn't want anyone to divorce him and try to take half a shit. And you know what? I don't fucking blame him one bit. I don't blame him either. I don't blame anybody who doesn't want to get married because they don't want their shit taken away. I think that's called a genius. So, anyway... Um, <sighs> Dave, why do you do this? You what? just ruined my Christmas you. again. Do it. Boom. Christmas. For 20 plus years, my Christmases have been ruined. But I like to remember uh, back when I was a kid. Um, I think if you've heard this podcast before, you understand that my parents were not good parents, not even decent parents, not even good people. But the idea of Santa uh, being possibly the best person in on the planet. Here was this guy who was spending all year getting toys prepared and wrapped and and uh you know he was out there delivering um <clears throat> my house was a little weird on christmas morning because my mother was weirdly passive aggressive and so she would leave price tags on things so i would know uh how little they cost um you know i there was a place called Two Guys that was uh, not... Maybe she would leave them on to show how much they cost. That no. Would, that would be vengeful. The little is making her look like an asshole. Dave, they didn't care. They were assholes. What? That just Sometimes when sense. you're so much of an asshole, you don't know, nor do you care that you're an asshole. That seems ridiculous. So I would see like, the like you know, I would get a sweater. First of all, everyone knew my least favorite color was green, right? So what would I get? A green sweater with a Two Guys tag that showed that it was on sale for, you know... A dollar ninety nine or something absurd. So uh, I didn't personally like Christmas at my house, but just the idea of Christmas, and so that's why I love watching those Hallmark Christmas movies because in the end everybody has a great Christmas. Um, snow falls, people get what they want, they find the love they need, or whatever it is, and so I will watch the shit out of just about every Hallmark Christmas movie. Um, Dave, okay, your turn now to ruin Christmas. Well, no, I mean, that's fine. Uh-huh. I liked Christmas when I was a kid. By the way, oh. uh, Donald Trump just did something very funny. Uh, he uh, supposedly had a conversation with a seven-year-old yesterday and uh, asked him if he still believed in Christmas. And he said, because it's seven, that's marginal, right? <laughs> He said marginals with a yeah. kid? He's like, hey, it's marginal that you might still believe in Christmas at that point. And basically, now he's the worst thing in the world for doing that. But I kind of find that to be hysterical. I think he's hysterical. He's like, I think I, he's hysterical. You still believe in Santa Claus, right? The kid's like, what do, you, what do you mean, still believe? Oh, that's hysterical. Anyway, so um, when you were little, what, uh, what did you guys have a family tradition? Yeah, we had popcorn balls. I had balls of popcorn on the tree. They were sweetened. I liked those balls. And would you could just take them off the tree and eat them? Yeah, I never liked the candy canes. I liked them sweet popcorn balls. So how did they make them? You know the what? I never was oh. able to find them popcorn balls again. And then when I, by the time I found them, I didn't want to eat them anymore. Isn't that life? Oh, they didn't make them at your no, house? No, they make them. I just didn't know where to find them. I didn't know what they were. And then when I finally found them years later, okay, I had no not interest in them. listening to my question. Did uh-huh. you make them at your house? I don't know. Nope, we did not make them. You would just order like a bag of popcorn balls? Know. That's did, the thing. They just mysteriously show it up as far as I could tell you. And what? And uh, did they have like stuff to hang them with? Or did you just kind of place them in the yeah, tree? Yeah, ha- I think they had little hangers. Little uh-huh. like uh, wire hangers. Little wires like the type you would tie bread with. Okay, and then what? So you would just pick them off, walk by, take a, take one, and eat one, yeah, like an apple. It was like caramel popcorn. 
on oh, the tree. Oh, really? It was fucking excellent. That was the best part of that tree. And then the other thing about the tree was uh, the cat would always knock it down. Oh, cat, really? Cats would climb the tree and knock it down. And, uh... When this is when you were little? Yeah, when I was little. See, I was the youngest, so we had a bunch of kids around. My, I had the exact opposite of you. That's why I hate everything so much. And you love things so much. <laughs> you was the exact... You were f- surrounded by love and gifts and some a yeah, little I extra take, money. I take for granted good. Yeah. <clears throat> even still. As even, we live in this tiny Steve little house. We live in a tiny little house, not a mansion in... Uh, the rich part of New Jersey, but you still take uh, good for granted? Uh, probably. I'm thankful for this house. I'm grateful for this time. No, house I'm grateful. It's just I don't like, uh, I still don't like uh, certain things. They rub me the wrong way. Like, I like to play miniature golf, but I don't like the thought of miniature golf. Like, miniature golf is like the American, American cheese. Like, I like Disney World, but I hate Disney World. You know what I mean? What about, like, bowling? See, I love bowling. I like bo- bowling. I got no problem with Bowling's great. I love bowling. No, no problem with bowling. So you like to play miniature golf, something that we've never I done just, together. Yeah, I just don't like the <laughs> thought of... I just don't like the thought of miniature golf parks. I well, don't know. Well, where would you prefer to play? I, I don't want to play. I just I don't mind playing. Uh-huh. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, I don't like all that American shit. Oh, okay. But bowling you're fine with. Mm-hmm. I like baseball until they fagged it up. Okay, and how did they do that? Oh, I don't know. How didn't they do it? I don't know the, what you're... The pitch count, perhaps? Oh, that is... Uh, and, uh, well, that's the main problem. See, for me, baseball, the main problem is Joe Buck. Ugh. Yeah. That's, ugh. That's the reaction I get when I see two men kissing. That's the same reaction I get as Joe Buck. I yeah. Go, ugh. I'm not a fan of Joe Buck at all. I mean, he makes me think that uh, John Sterling is amazing, and I don't like John Sterling anymore. John Sterling. Now, is he related? No, I'm Michael K. He's related to Dan- uh, Danny Aiello. He is? I don't like Michael K. at all. And the yeah. fact that he has his own show on the Yankee Network. I have a feeling his real name's not K. Oh. I think it's probably Kaiello. Kaiello? Yippee Kaiello, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. Kaye. So, uh, I know. Kayawitz. Okay. Um, so you had a tra- that's the only tradition you know is the popcorn balls on the tree? Uh, you no, guys I'm didn't... just sticking to what I used to like about Christmas and little obscure things. But did you have like a big dinner on Christmas oh, Eve? Oh, the gingerbread house, of course. I like the gingerbread house. Uh, yeah, we had dinner. Did you make the gingerbread house? Uh, yeah, we definitely made that. I was definitely helping making that. Oh, that's cool. And then did you eat it right away or let yeah. it sit for a bit? And we probably, I'm not sure. I don't recall. I don't recall. Okay, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I like beer. Okay. Uh, and the dinners were your mom and dad and just the the siblings, or was it more relatives and stuff? Uh, I think it was mostly just the immediate family, if I can recall correctly. And did you did you open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Christmas Day. Yeah. Some people do like one on Christmas Eve. No, we didn't do that. Okay. okay. All right. Also, I love stocking stuffers. I love stocking stuffers. I love getting a stocking filled with little doodads and tchotchkes and like pez and pens and little things, little silly things. I love it. I, I absolutely. Why wouldn't you? It's just fun. Pez. It will come back to you. I just. I just feel like, uh, I just like little doodads. Like even on my guild, on my game I play, Yeah. I sent everybody for Christmas little doodads. Fuckers, what they send you? Not a goddamn thing. I didn't say that, and that's not true. I love my guild very much. Right. I am the guild master, so I felt like it was my uh, duty to, uh, but it was it was my duty, but I also really loved doing it. I sent out. Jesus, I sent out over 40 uh, packages to people who were active in, say, the last 10 days. Well, that's nice of you. Yeah. I started a new character and named it the name of the guild and Santa and sent them out as almost like a mysterious Santa gift. And some people actually didn't know it was me. (laughs) So I thought that was cute. Um 
let's talk about Christmas songs. Because you're, let's face it, Dave, you're Jewish. Hey, fuck you, all right? Okay. You've got the Jew money, do you? You're hiding it from me? No. All this time? Um, But you guys had a Christmas tree, right? Yeah, we had a Christmas tree. So you didn't celebrate uh, Christ as the Son of God type of Christmas, but you celebrated Santa and just the the season of giving type of thing, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Did you guys do any Hanukkah stuff or not so much? Hanukkah. Did you have a menorah? Yeah. Okay. I guess that's a no. Menorah. That sounds like something you put on from your, your, your soil to make vegetables. Oh, right. Well, I see what you're saying there. Anyway. Um, I, we, we, we were not religious. I, I see that. My religion is Jack fucking Kerouac, all right? Okay. I mean, I, I might as well, you know, I believed in that as much as I believed in anything. All right. Well, that's fine. Did you watch any Christmas movies together? Like some people always got together and uh, watched the Christmas story movie, The Shoot. I'll shoot your eye out. Or you'll shoot your eye out. No, I don't really recall really doing that so much. It was Uh, just like a dinner and some some present opening, but no movie. uh, No, not really. I don't recall us watching TV very much as a family. Oh, okay. There was not a show you all were riveted to? No. That's cool, though. We had a couple of TVs, and people would watch different stuff, I think, at different times. That makes sense. Did you have any carolers show up? No. I never had a caroler either, but you know what? I fucking love the idea of it. I love the idea of people strolling around in a neighborhood and singing amazing Christmas songs, and I've never seen it other than in movies. Hmm. I would love to live in a place where that happened. It happens. Where? Dude, I would be so the fuck on that. I would have I hot bet, chocolate ready. I bet it happens in little towns here and there. Oh, man. <clears throat> I if, bet it happens in uh, Burlington, Vermont. As I your, bet it happens there. Has a relative ever said that that happens? I don't recall. But I, I could just see people being goofy enough to do that. What do you mean goofy? You know, just feeling like they are comfortable enough in their own neighborhood where they can actually go around, they're safe, and they can all be goofy together doing their thing. Family, parents, Oh, I see kids. you're saying. There might be neighborhoods where that's not a safe option. Yeah, you don't want to go into people's... Nah, yeah, you fucking knock on the wrong door in Syracuse, you get shot. Okay, well then uh, don't be caroling in Syracuse. But I would say if anybody listening has carolers... Uh, that in, in their neighborhood or in their town, let me know because you know what? I'm packing my bags and moving to your town. I love a good Christmas carol. People in their long coats and their and their their candles or whatever singing a little fa la la la. Fuck yeah! I would. I just oh, man, I would join them. I love Christmas music. How do you feel about Christmas music? Uh, I don't really like it very much. I, I, I don't mind it. Uh huh. I kind of think we, you were talking about a Christmas song that you thought was uh, yeah, pretty good. You know, I don't mind it, but I, it's not. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. Oh, see, I like. I'm a big fan of the crooners, so the Frank Sinatras, the Dean Martins, the Perry Comos, so uh, the Nat King Coles. So I'm already a fan of that genre. So when you couple that with Christmas songs, I am over the fucking moon about it. I like Sinatra. I like Nat King Cole. Without Nat King Cole, there wouldn't be any Ray Charles. How about that? Oh, how about those apples? Listen to fucking Ray Charles when he first started. He sounds exactly like Nat King Cole. Does he? Exactly. I got another tip for you. Okay. Slow down a recording of Billie Holiday. She sounds exactly like Louis Armstrong. Okay. Exactly. Is that, uh, is that pot talk? No, that's reality. I see. That's just the reality of it. She, her cadence and her, her, she sounds like a female Louis Armstrong. And uh, does she do any Christmas songs? Now, slow down George Bush, uh-huh. and he sounds drunk as a motherfucker. Well, I think you slow down most people and they sound drunk. He, in particular, sounds pretty drunk. Unless that was just the uh, liberal media trying to make me think that George Bush was a moron. Yeah, maybe that's it. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like the liberal media is has taken a page from Scientology, where Scientology tells their Scientologists, you know what, don't read anything outside of, of what we tell you about Scientology. Don't go on the internet looking for Scientology stuff. 
don't do it because people are are wrong. Just yeah, get why your else information would from CNN, us. Uh, not allow their comment sections to be open. Why yeah. would you close your comments? They if closed you'd wanna, if years not, ago. Yeah. What what other reason would you have? You're going to say it makes a, a friendlier environment, a friendlier uh, community. Yeah, that's. I mean, they could say whatever they want, but the reason that's was is that people silencing were silencing people's opinion. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I've been thinking long and hard on that. I just think liberal media has has literally bitten off from uh, Scientology, and they're just listen to us, only listen to us, and uh, you you know, I don't listen. I don't. I'm not watching any news these days. I'm just going to a few. Uh, news sites reading some stuff and just uh digesting it as i would and uh able to figure it out for myself but it's just uh i just can't take it anymore i can't Look. take it every day they're trying to uh scare you into something and it's just like i you know what that's not news that's not news at all so i'm not uh i'm not i'm not involved at all um Retarded. but that's not very christmasy so I wanted to ask you, do you have a favorite Christmas movie? A Christmas movie. Some say how Die Hard, the Christmas movie. I would I say, say go fuck yourself. Oh, okay, because you know what? Die Hard is a Christmas movie, Dave. No Christmas movie. It is a Christmas movie. No. Yes. I don't think so. Why don't you think so? Because Christmas movie, uh, a Jimmy Stewart movie. It's a Wonderful Life. Christmas movie have a motto about Christmas. Christmas movie based on Christmas, not just in Christmas time. That's why. Well, I'm going to tell you that Die Hard is one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's a great movie, but I'm, I don't think it's a Christmas movie. I think it's a movie that takes place during Christmas. Christmas movie is about Christmas. It's, mo- it's the morals of Christmas. It's about, you know, what Christmas is. Groundhog Day is more of a Christmas movie. I like Groundhog Day. But, I don't it's, see, but it uh, takes place after Christmas. No, I'm sorry, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is a great movie, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm Groundhog talking about Day Scrooge. Is in Scrooge is more of a Christmas movie. Well, Scrooge is definitely a Christmas movie because exactly. it's a Christmas carol. Exactly. That is a Christmas movie. Just because it takes place in Christmas is not, that's not a Christmas movie. That's like saying a movie that takes place in the summertime is a movie about the 4th of July. It's not. Well, if the, if there are fireworks, first of all, I don't know that there are many Fourth of July movies other than Independence Day. Every time they used to show you having sex or kissing someone, they'd show fireworks. It wasn't about Fourth of July. Boom. Uh, okay. Boom. Eh? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Love American style. Oh, okay. Um, so. Okay, so it's a Christmas movie. Am I wrong? What 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 about Christmas is in it? Uh, they're having a Christmas party. Oh, Jesus, I was wrong. He has flown across the country to spend Christmas with his uh, ex-wife and children. Oh, Jesus. But Bruce Willis says it's not a Christmas movie. Well, that's up to, I mean, you know, that's fine. He can have that opinion as as so can you. But I am saying for me, Die Hard, one of my favorite Christmas movies. All right, I got one for you. Oh, okay. The Out of Towners. Is that a Christmas movie? I don't know that I've seen that one. I think that takes place in Christmas. Is Sandy Dennis in that? I believe she is. I believe she was someone's acting teacher, and I don't know who. Sandy Dennis is from Up the Down Staircase, I think, right? Is she, what happened to Sandy Dennis? I don't know. She has a name that kind of makes me think she's a man. No. Mandy Dennis. Is it, oh, Maybe her name's not Sandy Dennis. Maybe I have the name wrong. Sandy Dennis and Mandy Patinkin should have changed names, and then we'd have it straight. Mandy Patinkin. How do I wait, Mandy? That's not a man's name. Man. Man is right in the name. Mandy. Man. Amanda. Oh, Mandy. Man- Why don't you... Mandy Patinkin. Okay. So, what did you say your favorite Christmas movie was, The Out of Towners? I don't even know if it's a Christmas movie. I don't have a Christmas movie that I like. I guess, uh... Let me rephrase that. What about Elf, dude? Come on. Elf is all right. Just all right? It's funny. I love Elf. Maybe I like, you know, uh, Bad Santa. I oh, can't you say do? it's my favorite, but I thought that was pretty funny. I never saw it. Yeah, it's funny. I never the, saw the it. Was... Black Elf. Uh huh. He's good. I like, I'd say Elf is uh, one of my favorites. I've not seen Bad Santa, but I didn't know you'd seen it. Where did you see it? Just on TV. Oh. 
We're always together, Dave. I recall seeing it. That's all I can tell you. Right. I've seen it. Okay. I know all the shenanigans. He's drunk. I think he might have pee himself. Ugh. He's Ugh. a bad sin. The black elf. They're like, you know, con, con artists type of thing. It's the classic story. Now, that's fine. I, 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 do you highly recommend it? I don't, no. Oh, I see. I don't highly recommend it. Hopefully not. It's, in, it's entertaining. <clears throat> I like a Christmas Carol. I like a... You give me some choices. Maybe I could figure one out then. Die Hard. Oh, okay. Elf. Uh, a Christmas Carol. Whatever 800 Hallmark Christmas movies there are. It's uh, a Wonderful Life. You hate that one. I don't like It's a Wonderful Life. I probably don't like it either. I like Jimmy Stewart, though. Then you might love it. I'd rather watch him in Rear Window, though. It's I love Rear Window. It's got uh, Donna Reed, I think, isn't it? It's a Wonderful Life from the Donna Reed show. Yep. And uh, I just, I just don't like it. What's another one? I guess Miracle it's because on 34th it's Thirty Fourth Street. Oh, I love Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Good one, Dave. Me right now. That's a good one. But getting back to it's a wonderful life. Can I we guess we make some oh, of these okay. movies with black people. I'm sure they have. Let's do it. All right. Let's just do all of them. Why? I don't know. It seems to be happening. Okay. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life to me was a little, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of, it's, it was a little too suicide for me. Uh-huh. I don't find that very cheerful. Right, right. Uh, I'm not a big fan. But Miracle on 34th Street with little uh, Natalie Wood, and also they remade it eventually. Um, with I think they've remade it a few times actually. Uh, with the, uh, Nicki Minaj. No. Oh. <laughs> no. But and it's uh, Nicki Minaj and Denzel Washington in Miracle on 125th Street. It no. See the the thing is is that the parade is uh, for Macy's and Macy's is on 34th Street. Yeah, but now we got the Uptown Macy's. There is no Uptown it's Macy's. Called Macy's. Okay. Macy Gray's. Gracie's. Anyway. Gracie's you, Mansion. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Eh? This is the Christmas special. Um, So, we were talking about music before, and you made a little, uh, you made a little confession to me. You want to confess it to the people? Yeah. Wake up, white people. All right. That's not what the confession was. Oh. Uh, I thought it was... Uh, Darius Rucker. Yeah. He's a uh, reuniting hoodie and the blowfish. That's not what you're Well, that's not the was. good news. The good news is is his uh, country music is, is actually happening. And uh, his Christmas album is probably the best stuff I ever heard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a very dairy us Christmas. Dave How has... How dairy is you? That's his uh, naughty album. Dave has... Uh... I dare you to not listen and like it. Darius has won over Dave. What is it? The songs? The voice? It's all about his twang. He's got a country twang. You like? A little bit of soul. Okay. He's like a black Elvis or something. Well, there you go. There you go. So there, you would recommend people to listen to some Darius Rucker Christmas yeah, on, music. I would just say let's this let's Baha'i faith this bitch up. All right. Uh, what? Let's mix everyone together. No more black. No more white. And mm-hmm. Darius Rucker will be the king of country. Okay. There you go. Vanilla Ice will keep renovating houses. He's good. That house renovating. He's not a bad rapper either. He just got a bad rap. I, are yeah. you kidding me? Ice Ice Baby? I fucking love that song. Well, there you go. When I was DJing in Second Life, I used to fucking play that shit all the time. Everybody it's, loves it. It's they awesome. Just, you just don't want to admit it. Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's like miniature golf. You like it, but you hate it. We could do a whole thing on white rappers. Could we? Yeah, and I'm talking about Snow, all right? Informer. Who? Snow. Snow who? His name is Snow. He's a white white reggae guy from the 90s, uh-huh. 80s. Informer. What? Oh, Informer. Yeah. Come on, you don't know Informer? Are you on something? What? Informer? You're just herky-jerky over there. What? I'm talking about Informer now. You're freaking me the fuck out. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with you. Shush. Or my life. Uh... 
But if you would like to do a show on white rappers, we we certainly could. I'm dreaming of a white rapper. But uh, so is Darius Rucker your favorite Christmas song? I have a few favorite Christmas songs. I like uh, most of them. Darius Rucker is not a Christmas song, but I do like the songs he sings. Well, which Christmas song did he sing that you liked? Uh, I think he sang something like Come Home for Christmas, maybe, or something. Is that, is that a Christmas song? Well, it does have Christmas in the title, Dave, so I'm... Something about uh, Home for Christmas? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I... Can you sing a little bit no, for us? No, I cannot. I certainly cannot, because I do not know it very well. Oh. Perhaps for the next show, you'll learn it? Maybe you can drop in a little Darius to entertain us all. No, I'm not doing that. There he is, the amazing Darius. Okay, I do he not He was going to be a magician, but his parents thought him otherwise. Well, good for him. Can you name one black magician? I can't. Dave, I can barely name two magicians. How about a black magician? David Blaine? I don't think so. He's just kind of soulful. He's Okay, I can name... Urkel? He was not a magician. You're racist. Well, no one said Urkel. Oh. You said Urkel. I'm oh, just uh, having an imaginary conversation with a racist person. Okay, well, no one else said Urkel. Um, I would say the two magicians I can name are uh, the two Daves. David Blaine uh-huh. and David Copperfield. Yes. And how about the magic man himself, uh, Doug Henning? Oh, that Doug Henning, right? Doug Henning was a man from Canada? And didn't Amazing Randy, wasn't he a magician that somehow died? Oh, I guess Houdini. Are they magicians or is well, that uh, not is magic? magician or card tricks? Is that being a magician? I don't know. Card trickery? I guess there's a sleight, sleight of hand. Of hand. But, I mean, Houdini, was it? Was he a magician or was he, uh, what is that called? He was an escape artist. Okay. I mean, was there was there a call for that? <laughs> yeah, he was the original David Blaine. David Blaine, I don't believe he's escaped from anything. Oh, well, he's an illusionist. Yes. Oh, was Houdini an illusionist? Mm, not sure what he was. I'd have to look into that. I believe Houdini was a high-level Freemason. Oh, okay, well. So what he was privy to may be beyond our capacity to understand at this moment. All right. Well, good for him, I guess. Good for him. Houdini, Crowley. Oh, they were all together, were they? I don't know. Oh, oh. They all lived in a yellow submarine. All right, Dave. Dave. I'm just saying, Houdini was up to no good. Okay, well, all right. I don't know what to tell you about that. I don't either. I just thought I don't know enough about it. I just think he was up to no good. Well, you're, you're acting like you know a lot about it. Uh, still trying to think of a black magician. All right. Well, I don't, uh, I'm sure there are some. I just, I. How racist. We don't know a black magician. Dave, I can <laughs> name 10 or 12 guitarists. Black guitarists? I, I can name black and white guitarists. Excellent. But I cannot, I don't know many magicians. Not many become very famous is the, is the truth. Can you name the... Guitar player who used to play on Run DMC's early hits. No. Eddie Martinez. Okay. Well, there you go. Wasn't you black, but he kind of looked it. All right. Dave. Yes. This is what is... Oh, that's, oh. that's it. See? That leads me to what I was getting to. Oh. The uh, Run DMC Christmas song is probably my favorite Christmas song. Which one is that? Christmas Time in Hollis, Queens. Oh, okay. You want to sing a little bit of that for us? No. Oh, uh, it's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. Uh-huh. My mom's uh, cooking something in uh, collard greens. Oh, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it a rap? Oh, is it a rap? It is. It is the it invented rap? Okay. I liked the uh, Santa Baby by the Reverend Run. Well, who's that with? I don't know. The woman sounds great though. I like that song. Santa baby. I do recall hearing that. Da, 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 yeah, that's da, da, uh, that's some pedophile shit. No, it's not. What? Oh, okay. What the hell? What? Santa baby. It's like it's, it's, it's the three year old singing it or something. No, it's not. Oh. It's a woman singing it to a man saying, hey, why don't you bring me a ring or a car or something expensive? Jesus. It's not a pedophile thing. Look at you're turning into a liberal Whoa. where you're just going to start I'm just banning saying, every maybe. fucking song because somehow you can find I something saw, offensive. You know, mommy kissing Santa Claus. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. She kissed him. She did give him a hand job, Dave. Whoa, okay. Not when she was looking. 
Dave. How do you think she got here in the first place, the kid singing the song? Oh, my God. So mommy kissing Santa Claus. You didn't see what happened before you got there. Okay. How do you think you got there? Dave. It's more than a kiss. You, every year you ruin this holiday. I saw mommy. I see this year is no different than the others. Deep penetration okay. with Santa Claus. Dave. <laughs> yeah. It's Christmas. Okay. All right. I, uh, yeah. uh, leave some milk and cookies for him and he'll be fine. Yeah. Santa's awesome. The thought of Santa should be awesome. I got no problem with Santa. Okay. Well, you seem to have a problem with everything. I'm just saying, uh-huh. you know, Santa's not a hipster, so don't put him in skinny jeans and don't trim his hair and his beard because that's what they're trying to do to Santa. Who's they? What? Well, you know, the people who you say I am, the liberals. All I know I'm is... I'm no liberal. Oh, okay. Santa Claus is not, you know, is not a gay Jew, okay? Are you? No, but don't oh. turn Santa <laughs> into that. Jesus. Uh, yeah, they're trying to change uh, Christmas and... Uh, they're trying to change everything. They're they're saying that songs are offensive, or uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer has been bullied. Um, I was listening to a song, um, uh, the Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. Yeah. Oh no, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I was listening to, and it's you know such a nice fun song. But they're one of the gifts that they give is a pistol. You know, like a kid pistol or whatever. So I'm sure that that's next on the list of uh, offensive things that liberals will want to uh, delete out of our Christmas uh, repertoire. That's ridiculous. It is all ridiculous. You can find something offensive with every Christmas song if you look into it hard enough. Way too hard. Um but uh, that's what they want to do. That's fun for them, I guess. Is well, what well, it seems like what's fun for them is to ruin your time. <laughs> Basically, they want to ruin your time. They either try to uh, yeah tell you they don't want to be your friend anymore, or that whatever you're doing is racist, or you know the way you're living your life is not the way they want you to. So they're going to change rules and laws. There are people insane. out there who hate who hate Christmas. I don't hate Christmas. I just don't love it. But there's people who despise Christmas. They take offense to hearing Christmas songs and they hate the Christmas spirit. And those people have a hole in their heart. Those people can eat a dick is what I say. You know, I yeah, I got some other stuff on my mind. I don't I don't hate Christmas. I'm just, you know. Oh my god. I if I was a millionaire, I would be that person that went to Walmart and paid off layaway. I would be that person who would bring uh, surprise cookies to every house in the neighborhood. I would. I just love Christmas. I would. We would have so much decorations outside. Kid Rock paid off some layaway just recently at Walmart. It's great, man. It's great. It's a great way to be. I wish people were like that all the time, but they're not. Layaway. Mm. What are you making collect calls still? S- well, whatever, dude. No, person to person collect call. Dave. Whatever people want to do to get their Christmas to be uh, done right, that's fine. You know what? It's better to put something on layaway than go uh, the, a week before Christmas and find out the shit you wanted was sold out. Uh, oh, I didn't realize that layaway did that for you. I yeah. thought that was just like, you know, instead of going to your bank, you're going to Walmart and giving them your money. No, they take it, you put, you take it and you so go up to the counter. So guarantees that they're, not, that they're going to have a product for you? That's a whole other story. No, you, you pick the, the toy or whatever item off the shelf, you bring it to somebody and they put it on a shelf behind the counter with your name on it and it's there until really? you pay so for it. It's not just layaway, you're reserving it. It's there, it's yours. This thing is yours, it's just they're holding on to it until you're done paying for it. Yeah. So yeah. if you wanted, uh, you know, uh, a rare Beanie Baby... Why wouldn't you just put a deposit down on it? That's not how Walmart works. You pay 15, 20 bucks a month. You figure that out or a week or whatever. You figure it out and you go back and you make payments on it. It's like Christmas Club that banks used to have. I don't know if they still have them, but that's what you would do. You would, they would, uh, you would go in and you'd say, I'm going to put $10 this week into my Christmas Club. And they'd say, okay. And your Christmas club was just a special little bank account that you had for a year. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the year, you take it out and then you have all that money so for Christmas. So what does Walmart do with your money while you, while you, they have it? Are they investing it? No, they're, you're paying Walmart. They have given you a loan. 
So they have taken that thing off the shelf and guaranteed it to you. And they have loaned you the price of that item, basically, and you are paying them off. I don't trust them. All right. Well, I haven't heard uh, many uh, Walmart layaway fiasco stories, and I'm sure they're out there, uh, or they would be out there if it was a problem. I don't know. I think they're out there. All right. Well, you, you, why don't you Google uh, Walmart disaster layaway, and you can report back to us. All right. About I will do that. How awful lately do that. I got to dedicate some time to that now. Uh-huh. I'm going to take like 10 to 12 hours to make an in-depth report on this. I, uh, I don't think that's uh, necessary. I got to pull up my typewriter and get that ball working. Uh-huh. I got to replace the ball on my typewriter. On your IBM Selectric? Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. All right. Um, those things were amazing. I like I would replace the ball because you had one that was regular and one that was script or cursive. Yeah. I would use and the had cursive different fonts. ball. Let me tell you something. Some uh-huh. teachers didn't like the cursive ball. And if you used it, you weren't allowed to turn on your paper. No cursive ball. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why, but fuck them. Because it was harder for those lazy fucks to read. I don't know that that was the, the thing. but Oh, I can't read cursive. I'm a teacher. Here. A. You know they're not teaching cursive B. in school anymore, right? They're just teaching cursive. Cursive words. You, you hear me? You, Really? Yeah. Why is that? It's lazy? I, I do don't know not... why, but you can't read the Constitution if you can't read cursive. So. Wait a second. So that's, in other words, script? Is that what we call a script? Yes. So you can't read the one thing is... All of our documents are in script and cursive. All of our original historical documents. Yeah, so they'll just translate them online. Within, and people will, you know, have Robert De Niro uh, speak them. Yeah, when they translate them, maybe they'll change them. Maybe, of maybe in a hundred years, no one's going to know the difference. Telephone that's what I'm game saying. of fucking Constitution. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's insidious, and it's it's a long term plan, in my opinion. I think you might be right. All right, well, that's good. Quick, dig a hole, quick. For, we need to get in the hole quick. Uh, oh, for the bunker. Yes, bunker. I think we're pretty good here. Achi. We're pretty we're pretty <coughs> far removed from the masses. It's true. I mean dirt road and all. So, um your favorite uh, Christmas movie, your favorite Christmas song, you don't have any of these things. Eh, uh, Christmas in Hollis Queens. Uh-huh. Okay, right. Silly. Favorite movie. Christmas movie uh uh is it the Star Wars Christmas special? No, okay. no. I like Hardware Wars. Hardware Wars. Yes, the really bad animated take on Star Wars where they fly irons around. Okay, I have and, not seen that. And so. other like household items. All right. Hardware Wars. I see. It was horrible. Yes. It was like the Ruddles, but way worse. Uh... I like I have a couple of favorite Christmas songs, but I would have to say Mel Torme's The Christmas Song. Uh, I guess I don't even know that until you hear it. It starts with chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh, that one. Did he write that? I believe he did. Then he is a I genius. Don't, I don't know if he wrote it and sang it or just sang it, but... Uh, Look, Mel Torme and Steve Allen, they don't make them like that anymore. No, they don't. God damn it. Can you sing Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire for us? No, but I can make fun of Michael Buble's last name. Why? Why would you do that? Because it's the less vulgar version of a sexual act. Dave. Boob lay. I understand, but if we're going to talk How about... How could you be a star and say, my last name is going to be Boob lay? Oh my God. And he seems to be doing okay for himself. I know. Himself. I'm not blaming him. I blame society for not calling out that ridiculousness. Someone else in this room has a ridiculous last name. Yeah, it's not fucking Titfucker. Okay. I am David Titfucker. All right. That's ridiculous. All right. Dave. Hmm? You are antsy? I'm not antsy. You're antsy. I see you over there being antsy. You see that fidgeting shit I you're like doing? I like to be antsy. I'm thinking of new stuff. Okay. I'm always on the prowl here. I'm uh-huh. looking, trying to find a new word to put out at you. Oh, I don't, I don't want another word from you. That's yeah. good. You keep those words to yourself. 
All right, so Chestnuts Roasting on Open Fire is uh, the Christmas song. I like it very much. Um, when I was younger, uh, I don't know why we had it, but we had a Perry Como Christmas album, and I had my little record player, you know, the kind you lift up the lid. Mm-hmm. It was like it was kind of portable. Was it green? No, it was red. And uh, I would plug it in, open it up, put, put that Perry Como record on, and I would listen to it and listen to it and listen to it all the time. Perry Como was good. Yeah, he was uh, He was awesome. I loved that record and uh, actually bought it uh, you know, recently on iTunes. Not recently, but a few years ago. I really do. I love Christmas music so much. Um, so I guess you didn't have any traditions. Uh, Christmas doesn't mean a lot to you. So perhaps this mm. episode is over. Christmas to me was, you know, family getting together, sleigh riding, that kind of stuff. Sleigh riding's fun. Oh, yeah. It was a lot of fun. But that was just the season. It wasn't necessarily Christmas. It was just kind of winter. Uh-huh. Did you guys go to Vermont skiing for Christmas, or did you do it at home in Jersey? Uh, I think we were going to Vermont mostly at that point. Yeah, we went to Vermont a lot for Christmas, for sure. Well, that's cool. That's very cool. That's where you got your love of skiing. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Well, that's good. Do you have any Christmas or New Year's messages for the masses, Dave? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. I'm trying to think something. No. All right. Well, uh, I will say, uh, I hope you've had an amazing Christmas and you've spent it with the people you you love the most, whether that's friends or family. And uh, I hope Santa has brought you everything you wanted this hey, wait, year. That, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say all that stuff, like she said. I don't believe you were going to say that. That stuff was right on the tip of my tongue. Oh, That's why it? I was just waiting to gather my thoughts. Oh, okay. All that stuff was what I was about to say. All right. And I hope this new year brings you uh, joy I and happiness. I was going to say that. Okay. I hope the new year brings great things your way. And uh, hopefully you'll keep listening to our nonsensical bullshit. Anything, Dave? Uh... No, I think you said it all. <laughs> I tried to say some things, but uh, you found a way to... Oh, wait, wait, oh, okay. wait. So I want to say that, too. What? What you just said. All right, I hate you. What? No, and that, too. All right. Not that. All right, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a great holiday, and uh, we will see you next time, America. Adam Sandler. For president.